What is going on, Patriots fans? This is Jace and Cole back with another edition of the Patriots Drive Podcast. There's been some crazy, weird, not really rumors, but just some thoughts going around. There was a new alternate logo released by the Patriots. We will talk about that in this video, but we're going to talk about some jersey concepts, talk about what we think the Patriots should go to, because right now I feel like our jerseys are just kind of bland and maybe there's some ideas floating around. So going to get into that. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below your favorite concept you see today, what you think of the Patriots jerseys currently, and maybe th throw in what you think about the new logo that was announced. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Are you tired of trying to find the best deals on tickets to your favorite events, concert, and games? Then SeatGeek is the answer. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. You can find the best deals thanks to their app and website showing you what prices are good and bad. And now you can use code PATRIOTSDRIVE for $20 off your purchase. So go ahead and get those tickets you've been eyeing because you don't want to miss out. Okay, I'm going to throw up here the alternate logo that was announced. Now, Guys, Cole did a mock-up of this on a helmet, so you're going to see it on a helmet. They already said that it's not going to be on a helmet, but this got a lot of traction on Twitter, so we're going to pull this up here. This is the new Patriots alternate logo, so Cole, kind of talk me through this, maybe what you like, dislike about it, and maybe what people were saying on Twitter and stuff, because there was a lot of traction on this about a week ago. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I basically saw the logo in the background. I saw a couple people were talking about it, so I was like, all right, let's just throw the logo on a helmet, see what it looks like, if if that's something they're actually thinking about. So I threw it on there. Don't love how it looks. Um, I agree with a lot of what people said about it kind of looks like I compared it to the New England Revolution logo. Looks pretty similar. Uh, it looks like a kind of like a soccer club logo, just that big circle. Looks like the Washington football team's logo. Um, I threw it on a sweatshirt, threw it on hat that looked a lot better than on a helmet or a jersey or something like that. So I think that's kind of more what they're going to do. It definitely got a lot of uh, a lot of comments and a lot of traction. Uh, just people leaving their opinions on it. Not many people liked it. I didn't like it either. That wasn't the point of this. It was just to kind of show you get like, hey, this is what the new logo is. That's an alternate logo for us. This is what it would look like and just kind of show people to get a visual in their head. So uh, a lot of people were not fans of it, but um yeah so i just i kind of wanted to do that but yeah i don't i don't love i don't love it like this i i really think both the pat patriot helmet and their current helmets are way better um so this would just be something that maybe on a t-shirt sweatshirt maybe a hat something like that and i wouldn't mind but i really hope they don't bring this concept to life and I do like if you take that circle right there and put it like on the, my hat right here, like yeah, yeah. I would wear it. I, I like yeah. it. I think it's a very good. I agree with you. I think it looks soccer clubish. The New England Patriots established 1960. Now, the NFL is allowing three helmets, right? Three different helmets this year. It usually has only been two, I believe. So they upped it. That's why you see the Texans who have, you know, that really cool H town. My idea with this logo was to take the circle off of it and just use the NE with the flying Elvis face in it maybe blow it up a little bit but i agree i don't know if this is gonna be it's obviously not gonna be featured on jerseys but you know the concept was cool it's interesting that they're bringing in a new logo it kind of says you know volumes to what everyone's been saying there's new signage there's a bunch of new things around the patriots facility it's not all the old stuff like do your job and whatever it's been it's a new age and so there's a new logo but we wanted to talk about some concepts so jack gaffney tdt on twitter these are all his concepts so shout out to him make sure you go give him a follow um i post this on my instagram and christian gonzalez actually post reposted a couple of these so i'm gonna talk about or we're gonna throw up the first one which would probably be more of a um a home and away jersey and then a retro one so the first one Right here, it has the Pat Patriot logo. We're going with a blue jersey, and then you obviously have the navy or the white pants. Now, there's going to be better ones than this one, but Cole, you kind of said before we got on, you think this maybe looks a little too high school-ish. What are your thoughts on this one? I, I do like the Pat Patriot helmet. It's a clean concept, but there might not be enough to it, right? Yeah, I think I, I agree. I think it's it's a pretty clean concept. The helmets are great, but yeah, it just, I don't know. It gives me off a vibe of like a, uh, like a Bulldogs type high school team or college football team, like something like that. It just, it, 
it doesn't feel NFL level. It feels a little bit like a jersey that's going into the new college football game. So, um, yeah, I just I feel like you kind of see stuff like this in, in that setting. It's it is clean. I think it it is pretty solid. Uh, but I think there's definitely better options that we're going to see on here later that I would absolutely love. And this one, I would just kind of be more neutral on. It wouldn't really. I don't feel strongly one way or another really. And I think that, like, for this jersey, you probably put Patriots across the top under the NFL shield, right? You brand it up a little more. The only thing that really shouts Patriot is obviously the Pat Patriot helmet and then the colorway. But, you know, it, yeah, it's kind of a generic font for the five, the arm sleeve. I know that that's really popular in college football to have the stripes on the arm sleeve. It seems like that's coming back on jerseys and stuff. And then you just have the stripes down the pants. Now, the alternate to this one is the white version, the uh, ones right here now. I'm a big fan of all white jerseys. So the white, white and white Pat Patriot helmet, I actually really, really like, but it's kind of the same thing here, right? It's just plain and stuff. The red Pat Patriot might just look the best in my opinion. Yeah. I, I think the red Pat Patriot ones are way better than both of these. Like it's not even close in my opinion. This one kind of reminds me of the, uh, the giants red color, uh, not red, the giants white color rushes that they had at that one point. I think it was the giants. Um, Kind of reminds me of this, that kind of vibe. Um, but again, yeah, kind of like a high school, not super. It, I wouldn't want to wear this consistently. Like this maybe would be like a alternate where if one of those things you wear once or twice during the season. But I think there's, like I said, there's other ones that are coming up that I really like. If these were to get introduced as new primary jerseys, are they better or worse than the ones we currently have in your opinion? It's so close. I like the the ones right now kind of just look like more blueberries running around. <laughs> um, I would love to see how it looks on the actual players to kind of give an opinion. I think they're so close. I, I really don't think I'd prefer one either way. I do like the Pat Patriot logo and helmets though better. So maybe I'd lean towards this one, but it's still, I think they could add a few touches to it to make it uh, a clear favorite over our current ones. And I, And I'm not a... I'm not a hater of the flying Elvis logo. Like I actually no, like I, it. I, I think it's too. iconic, but I agree. The Pat Patriot is just, and it's weird. It's like, you see it with short shorts in the NBA and stuff like things that were popular 20, 30 years ago, they're starting to come back in. And that's kind of what leads us into these ones. Now, these are the jerseys that Christian Gonzalez talked about on his Twitter, the 1996 blues. Now guys, it, I know some people that maybe grew up watching the Patriots in the nineties wouldn't want the blue or sorry, the Patriot logo on the shoulders. We didn't grow up with that. And this is like a vintage. It's a vintage look. You still get the flying Elvis on the helmet up top, the gray pants. I, I like the weird pinch. It's not like true pinch dice, but you got like that design down there. Like it's like a textured look, man. These, these are freaking clean looking jerseys. And, I just don't know, like you don't see something like this as a primary jersey anymore. So I almost wonder if they were to bring this back, if this were to be like you mentioned, like the throwback, the retro one to replace the red Pat Patriot. But gosh, I would want them to wear this six or seven times a year at least. Oh, absolutely. Like these are these are insane. Like I absolutely love these. And the thing is, like those ones in the 90s, they weren't they're not modernized. Like all those jerseys and like they look super bulky and like long like the sleeves are wicked long stuff like that like now modernizing it and kind of having it to the current jerseys and stuff like that but just having it this style i think is really really cool and that that is the one thing i've seen some people talk about the big patriot logos on the shoulders i don't mind it i also would be okay with doing something maybe a little different with that um but i i kind of like i kind of like it i don't know it's it's different. It it is what the they were in the past, um, and I think if you took away the Patriot logos on the shoulder and just made it the stripes, it might feel kind of like the ones that we just saw that we didn't like as much. Um, I know that it's a little. This one's a little more um, less high school looking, but I think it could just be because we see the Patriot logos on the shoulders and uh, the text up there. So I think these are awesome. I would love for this to be our primary home uniform. Uh, I think it would blow our current ones out of the water. I would almost say this would be the best NFL or the best jersey in the NFL. Obviously, the Buccaneers cream sickle ones are up there. The Eagles Kelly green ones like there's some good throwback jerseys, but 
this would probably be a top. Now, there's another flip side of this, the 1996 whites. I think the blue's better, but man, I like the whites. I would almost change the color of the pants. I don't know if going gray for a gray on white is what really fits best with me. I get why they did the gray on blue in the previous one, but maybe if you make this like a, a blue pant or something. Or but, white on white, maybe. Yeah, you could go white on white, true. And But I don't mind these either. It's the same argument, you know, right? You got the um, Patriot... Uh, on the sleeves and stuff what i really like about like these numbers too is how it's like a little bit more thick, right? you got like the yeah the italicized and like the stroke going through it and stuff it's on the uh it's got red and blue and it's not just like outlined it looks like it's more 3d ish and stuff so it feels like there's just more character and pop to these 1996 concepts than the original ones that we looked at yeah these i i like these a lot too um art do you have the well, we all know what the Pat Patriot ones look like, the current red ones. Yeah. My my favorite two jerseys are the Pat Patriot and the blue ones that we just saw here. Yeah. I know. I'm pretty sure you have to have a white. I don't think you can have a non-white away uniform. Correct? Is that correct? I, yes. You have to have a white one. So, yes. I don't know. It, it would be a toss up between the blues and the Pat Patriot red throwbacks for me. Those two. One of those being our primary would be phenomenal i would love that so much and then having these uh, as our uh as our white away jerseys and then kind of you can switch it up as far as the pant colors go try blue try white try gray see how it looks i really don't i i like gray more than you do uh, but just those three jerseys the two that we just saw and the red pat patriot throwbacks if those would be our three main jerseys every week we it would be it would be awesome I would absolutely pick these jerseys up so fast. Yeah, I mean, and I actually went on Mitchell and Ness and <laughs> looked at freaking Ty Law jersey, Teddy Bruski jersey, did the blue 96. I'm like, gosh, I want one of these and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm a little bit more on board with having the uh, first two we looked at being like true home and away jerseys and then not having this white one, but having the red Pat Patriot and the blue 96 or the 1996 blue ones as the alternates, right? And you can wear the home and away one for eight games and then you can wear the other ones for uh, the other eight you know you can alternate between the red and the blue at home and you know maybe one game where the uh, blue one that we saw there so I'm a little bit like I don't know if I, I agree I don't know if I feel like these are truly like primary jerseys just because they give that retro feel and I feel like do you think it would be different if we were wearing these every week? Like we wouldn't love them as much. Like if this was an, if the red Pat Patriot was an everyday uniform, would our, would it be bland for us? You know, that's like why I think it's so awesome is because you see it twice a year. You haven't seen it for, you know, a bunch of years when Tom Brady was coming up and then we got it back, you know, a couple of years ago. And so I almost wonder if you make like something like the 1996 blue or the red Pat Patriot, the primary, if it ruins it and kind of, you know, takes out some of the spice that the fan uh, base believes that it has. Yeah, I, I do think, I mean, the longer you wear something, that's so they're so nice. They're so, I got to keep these ones up because these are the best so ones. They're so clean. <laughs> um, I I do agree with you a little bit. What I what I think they should do personally is change the rule as far as only two games a year. Yeah, I think if you made that kind of closer to a three a three split, or even if you made it four games, it adds the alternates more often, which people want, and it also you're not getting the repetitive primary jerseys as often because you're mixing it up more often. So I think it would make the primaries not as like worn down and like people tired of it because you're seeing kind of a nice mix and you're not seeing primaries every single home game except for one or two. Yep. Um, so I think that would be a good mix up where you, you extend it to four games maybe and maybe let people use two different alternates. I don't know. Just, just mix it up. I think it's fun. I think people should be able to have three, four different Jersey helmet concepts and just uh, make it exciting. It's just, all it's going to do is sell more jerseys and, um, For sure. and I know, I know the players love it. Like Gonzalez tweeted this and was super excited about it. said, make it happen. Like yep. it's just, I don't see any reason not to, I, I just think you're wearing the same one or two jerseys over and over and over again. I think that probably gets old fast. Well, and the other thing, and I don't want to make this go too long. We're already at 14 minutes, but 
maybe in the 90s, people didn't care about jerseys, right? But you just hit on it. When you modernize these jerseys, look at what Oregon did to the, not only the helmet game, but the jersey game, how many combinations they have. Every Oregon's kid wants awesome. to go to Oregon. Every yeah. kid wants to go there. Then you thought of like, oh, TCU had good jerseys, right? There's always these schools that come out with unique combinations. And that's the generations that's coming up through the NFL now. So you give them more of these and every kid kind of likes the retro stuff. Christian Gonzalez, he wants to go back to the retro stuff. And so you're going to target more of the kind of generation that's coming up in the NFL. And then maybe you're going to reel in some of these 20, 30 year old millennials and stuff that are kind of our age and bring them in and kind of buy in with the jerseys because I do agree. They, I mean, I love football because it's football, but the jerseys have been like you watch college football on Saturday and you see some great jerseys and you see the NFL and you're like, Ugh, like this is bad. At least there's semi good football and stuff. So there's a uh, lot of ugly NFL jerseys, a lot. And so, I mean, the Texans one was kind of like the Broncos ones. I was not a fan of those rebranding ones that they just did. Like, it's just, I don't know. So they, there hasn't been very good breed brands in the NFL as of late. So, but let us know down below guys, what you think is your favorite one, whether it's one of the um, more modern home or away ones in the Navy blue or the white, or if it's the 1996 blues or the 1996 whites. So, and then of course, let us know your thoughts on the alternate logo. I feel like most of you won't really like it, but we know it's not going to be an actual logo on jerseys or whatever. It's probably just going to be on apparel. So appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys like subscribe, comment. We are going to have some more live videos coming up about OTAs, the schedule release mini camp. And then I will be dropping uh, two more film reviews, Drake may and Javon Baker. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. So appreciate all the support and until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.